hey man, I really ain't want to speak on this shit, but I know it's too many young black kings and young kings out there that's being misled and misguided wrong with learning half of the game and not the whole game. So y'all need to learn from this experience that I went to tonight because being a rapper is one of the most dangerous jobs in America. And there's a lot of young men out here that want to do this shit, but don't know everything that come with it. But I want to speak on this part right here, understand this. Everybody don't go. Everybody don't go and everybody ain't going. And I'm one of them people that's not going. So unfortunately tonight somebody lost their life for doing something stupid. And I don't know how it happened or what was going on, but I really would like all the young black men around here to learn before all the tabloids and the bullshit getting the fake stories get out there. I want y'all to learn from this experience. And I'm still standing here 10 toes down, all my jewelry and everything that I worked hard for. I don't want you to go through these dumb ass situations for doing something stupid that somebody taught you or led you to do. That you can go be a, a king, you can go be LeBron James, you can go be a lawyer, you can go be Sauce Walker. But understand this, but being this shit right here, is you live better. What happening, bitch? I'm bike. It's your boy, your organic soul gumbo, back in the kitchen with another edition. We just sitting here bubbling and sizzling and shit. You already know we got to feed the streets. So check it out. Like the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done that already. Hit that notification bell. Definitely leave a comment. Fill that comment section up. Let me know what you think. Today we talking about Sauce. Sauce Walker, man. The drip guard. And we already know it's crazy over there in LA with the checking in and niggas checking out. You know, we had a lot of tragic situations with rappers going over there and whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying, not going back to where they came from. Sauce Walker was recently in California. You know, Sauce Walker, he claimed he Big B, you know, he tied in, locked in with them niggas over there, you know, he affiliated. So he over there in L.A. and allegedly somebody tried to rob the man. Y'all seen it in the beginning of the clip where he was speaking about what happened. So Sauce Walker saying that somebody tried to rob him over there in LA and basically he didn't say out his own mouth that he dropped him but the way that he came off y'all seen how it was it, it really made it seem like yeah bitch you ran up on me and I had to put a nigga down cause he did some stupid ass shit now this the problem that's cap you know what I'm saying this cap in the worst way because this man who got killed allegedly was an innocent victim his sister came out on Instagram and really put a little light on the situation about her brother because she feel like the media and you know social media was portraying this shit in a negative light and her brother was a good person So as you can see, this man people ain't going for that shit at all. They don't believe the story. They want answers. Rest in peace to this brother. I don't know what happened. I'm just a YouTuber. But does this look like somebody who would try to rob you? This looks like somebody who already got his shit together. Now, I ain't gonna act I ain't gonna sit up here and act like people can't put on the front, but this looked like somebody who already got his shit together. You live in downtown L.A. Uh, he was allegedly coming in or going out of his building. It's not cheap to live in downtown Los Angeles. So the robbery story, that's a little flaky to me as well. You know, I don't know if I believe that shit. But whether I believe it or not, that's neither here nor there because that's not the point of this video. We're going to let the detectives do their work. The point of our video here is, did this nigga right here lie? He said... 
he had to put hands on the nigga who tried to rob him with a pistol, fought the nigga off, and somehow the nigga ended up passing away. You know, and he ain't going. That's what he say. Also, South Walker went on social media and put up some shit talking about if you reach, I teach. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. That's any come on, man. That's clout chasing, bro. Anybody who looking into that shit will be like, damn, bro, you killed the nigga. Right or wrong? Okay, and what about this one? He got blood on his Balenciagas. Or oh, my bad. Louis Vuitton. My bad. All them ugly ass shits look the same. Them shits look like British Knights. What we used to wear back in the days. Or Nah, them shits look like them Patrick Ewans or them pumps. Y'all remember them pump shits or you, the basketballs on the front? That's what them look like. But they cost $2,000 now. But anyway, what this right here mean? He got blood on his shoes. What he went and did? Danced in the puddle and shit? And got blood on his shit? Now he going, it looked like he claiming a body to me. But what it really looked like to me is Sauce Walker got his ass whooped. You got blood all over your shoes. You didn't shoot nobody, so how that happened? You got a big black eye, your shit leaking. You know, so to me, it looked like you just lost the fight. And who's the dummy that got killed? This is what we think, the clout chasing coming in at. Fucked up my Louis Vuitton's dummy. What dummy? Because the only person that ended up dead was an innocent bystander. Somebody who was going in their own place where they stay at. So, I don't know which dummy you're talking about. And I'm still trying to figure out who, who this person right here is. Like, was you with the victim who got shot and you were scared so you started running? Was you with Sauce Walker and up the pole and did that and started running? Or were you the person who tried to rob Sauce Walker and killed the other guy? Let's keep it G. Let's keep it a thousand. Sauce, if you're going to come out, bro, right after this shit happened, this is what you should have did. You should have came out and said, somebody tried to rob me. I got in a fight with the nigga, fought him off. He ran down the street and now his ambulance is over the lights and everything and I don't know what's going on. But you tried to make it seem like you murked the man. Now, when you see the guy running in a black shirt, that's in the daytime. The sun's still out. You clearly can see he got on all black. This dude don't. So it, you know who tried to rob you. The man had on black from head to toe. A, a dreads or a hoodie or some shit like that. This nigga on the floor right here, God rest the dead. He got on some look like blue and white number one Jordans with some shorts, white socks. Completely different outfit than the other person there. So how you went over the look talk with the po you had to talk with the police if somebody gets shot police getting spoke to and you identified this as a person that tried to rob you bruh look like you big cap right now bro. you got a lot of explaining to do but i'm gonna play your side because sauce just came out with a video and was saying what really see what had happened was type shit and i'm gonna go ahead and play that y'all let me know what you think like the video share the video subscribe to the channel Get in the comment box, leave a comment. I ain't bashing, I ain't jumping on no nigga, and I ain't police on no nigga or nothing like that. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck you was doing. You went live right after this. This, is, this man right here ain't deserve all that. Family ain't deserve that. Like I said, rest in peace to this brother. Y'all check this shit out, man. Organic. Fuck with me. I already knew this dumbass shit was gonna happen and somebody was gonna try to change a tragic story into a dumbass story because it was already some dumbass shit that happened. But the only reason why I'm even considering doing this is because I want to bring some closure and some clarification to the families and the sister of this brother that mistakenly, tragically lost his life in this dumbass situation for no reason. And for the family having to see their family member body slain and slander all over the internet for no motherfucking reason. But it also, I also was trying to keep it so G in the situation that I didn't even want to incriminate or put the person in trouble that could have harmed my life and it took this other man's life in this situation. But since all the information is already public and out, now we can speak on it. What happened was, and what I said in the original video, like I told y'all, I don't know what's going on and how it went on. We all trying to find out the rest of this information. But what I do know is that everybody ain't going. Guns kill everybody, but everybody is not scared of guns. And tragically, what happened is like you see on my figure, nigga wanna make up a black eye and all this dumb ass shit. What happened was I fought for my life. 
and fought for my jury and my belongings and got me and my men up out of the situation and up out of there and, and, and squabbled myself out of a situation where a firearm was put in my face. Half of you, half of you motherfuckers wouldn't even fight a motherfucker with a, with a butter knife in their hand. And, and tragically, after that situation, the same motherfucker that, that I made this person run off from the situation from a failed, failed robbery attempt, ran off and ran into another man and tried to rob this man. And this man did the same thing that I did because he was a black king, a black warrior, somebody that fought hard for whatever he had. And like, he had this firearm on him and he wasn't going. And unfortunately, in his situation, he lost his life. I could have lost my life as well. I, we both made the same uh, erratic, irrational decision because we, we want, we, we not going and we trying to live and we die for what we have. So unfortunately, somebody did something stupid and a man lost his life, and I could have been that man lose his life too because I made the. I'm also somebody that do stupid shit. That's gonna fight for what, fight for what I have. Just like this man tried to fight for what he have, and unfortunately, this man had the quicker draw, and it, however whatever went on is whatever went on. And I apologize, and I'm sorry for this man and his family and everything that went on. But what y'all not gonna do is switch those narrative and try to make me look like a fucked up nigga amongst my people and the people that love me. Like I'm out here slandering and trying to get some cream or credit the clout for none of that. What I spoke on is I fought, and I didn't even want to speak on that. But what the business that was stood on is that I fought for my life for myself and my brothers, and I left with all my jewelry on, his blood on my body, a black on my eye. That man didn't know what went on between me and that man. He know what went on and what, what went down. Just like he know what went on and whatever else went down, it's just like here, you know, you look me in my eyes like I looked you in my eyes before I went with my mood, like you went with your mood. Hey man, I could have been laying on the ground like that last man, but at the end of the day, it wasn't what you was expecting. Just like the same thing, it wasn't with him. So unfortunately, because somebody did something stupid and our young kings is being misled wrong to do dumb shit, think for for greed and fortune and money, we killing ourselves and losing our lives. But what the problem is, is y'all looking for the mess and not the message. And the rest of you clout chase the peon ass motherfuckers out here scared because y'all dumb ass putting bodies on the internet. You trying to clarify yourself. Nigga, you a hoe. You a bitch. 